Hello, Internet. Hello, Sam, and welcome back to After Campfire. This is a low-energy energy episode, I guess. I'm in a exhausted whatever mood, but here we are. It's my turn to make an episode. Anyways, Henry's diary of how to keep on being an adult person and stuff. Um, I think work's been pretty good the last two weeks. I've finished most of a major project. I still have to, like, wait for parts of it to be approved, but progress is good. Yeah, only problem is until that's approved, I can't exactly move on to my next thing. So I don't know what to do right now, which isn't good. Um, so yeah, beyond that... I had a weird experience this weekend because I actually went to an open house for a townhouse near me because I guess I'm starting to think about buying a place because gotta be the stereotypical tech person in Seattle and do that. I don't know. It's weird, but I think I'm getting to that point. I've been like going really back and forth on that lately. I was, I'm much more pushed towards staying in this apartment because it's like, has a good amount of space, it's really good for rent and stuff, it's a good location, but maybe it's time, I don't know. But my question to Sam was basically like, what do you need to host people for stuff? I don't really remember exactly, and Sam's like, uh, easy, like food and drinks and chairs and stuff. And I'm like, okay, yes, oh, obviously you need those things. Isn't there anything else? But then I guess since I had people over like, only twice since my last video, but now, like, it is clearly going to become a thing that I am going to host people more often at my place. Like, um, I have, like, as far as seating, I have my normal, like, dining room table with, like, four chairs, but I also just bought an unfoldable table that goes up to eight, and I have two extra unfoldable chairs and my desk chair and a couch. But I probably should get, like, two more foldable chairs or something like that. So I can host more people. But yeah, like, when I have people over on Thursday, I'm like, people don't like my Diet Coke. And basically just Diet Coke, I'm going to get more. So I just got a bunch of more normal sodas and snacks for people to enjoy. So I basically just did what you thought, Sam. Um, I guess that was kind of a dumb question. So, Sam, your question is weird. So your question is, like, what is, like, a thing from your childhood that you quote a ton? And, or, like, just a, any kind of media you consume, I guess, or whatever that you quote a ton? And I can't think of a good answer of that. I feel like a lot of small quotes kind of permeate into my brain from, like... Sam, I know I've caught in, like, catchphrases from you before and, like, Alicia or anyone that I've, like, hung out with a ton. Like, I, like, absorb catchphrases eventually. Um... But nothing as far as, like, media really stuck out to me. I feel like part of why is because a large portion of my media intake in the past 10 years has been anime. And you know what's hard to add to your normal dialect? Stuff that's in another language. But the answer I thought was the most fitting, I think, is actually Naruto. Because just randomly when hanging out with my nerdy friends saying something like believe it dr bio they it just is funny and it's always amusing and i feel like that those kinds of like of any series at least anime goes i feel like naruto is like poly one of the top of most like weirdly quoted like maybe one piece is probably up there but definitely not as high as naruto gurren Logan just because believe in me that believes in you who the hell do you think I am? I'm looking at a list that's part of, of, like, shows that I've seen. But, like, those three series, I feel like, are the ones that, like, really stand out to me for anything that I would, like, quote decently enough. Um, I guess there's also things that, like, if you count, like, physical expressions. Like, I have definitely have, like, this from Code Geass, like, every now and then. Like, like the, the Super Geass Awakening pose thing. I don't do that very much, but, like, the whole point is that I don't do any of these very much. So, Naruto, believe it. <laughs> I don't know. 
Ugh, I've just been stuck in like kind of crappy moods lately. I, it's good that things are still opening, like are opening up, but like things are still like kind of weird. So like I, because of things being more normal, but still like rough, I'm going like having a lot of spikes of activity and then back to like nothing. So motivation has been a struggle. So my question for you, Sam, is what do you do or what do you suggest when you are lacking motivation or just stressed out and really need something to push you to not just sit on your ass and watch a TV show all day, even though I don't even do that that much because I don't like watching TV that much. Like, to distract me from being bored. I like to watch TV when I am not bored. Whatever. See ya.